Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and uh, although this is Monday evening, this is actually Friday night's video, August 29th. Uh, okay, the market pulled back on Friday, about 170 points, uh, which I was kind of glad it did because my short-term indicator coming in uh, Friday morning and closing out on Thursday, uh, late Thursday afternoon, uh, had gotten very overbought and it just needed to correct. Uh, so the, the pullback was uh, timely and uh, not only did it correct the overbought condition, it's uh, put it into an oversold condition. Uh, and then we tried to get a little bit of a rally going on a Friday, but you know, being a Friday on a long weekend, it's very difficult to get rallies going on Fridays. Uh, I've told you that before. So if you do get a rally on a Friday, it's, it's a meaningful rally. Um, Anyway, um, we closed down. All the indexes pulled back, uh, not surprising. Uh, but, you know, last week was the week where it gave uh, the bulls a little bit of encouragement, uh, more than the bears got, because a few key areas um, got breached, not the important ones yet, uh, and uh, one or two of the looks of uh, some of the indexes may be starting to change. So um, we'll go over all the indexes in our final segment, and I will remind you of the key areas that we're looking for on both sides, on the upside and the downside, so we can get some uh, longer-term direction going here. Right now, we're just backing and filling and going sideways. And uh, although I think we're going to come out on the upside, I'm not raising the flag yet. Um, evidence is starting to look that way, but it's not, uh, you know, the, the victim is not totally uh, innocent yet. Um, so we'll go over that in the final segment. What else happened on Friday? I sold BBX, 25.5% uh, uh, return on my money in two days. When a stock goes straight up like that, you know, I'm going to take it every time. Um, it's a, to me, it's a no-brainer. I don't care if it goes up another 50% tomorrow. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I did the right thing. If it would staircase up and go go up slower and slowly and slowly and you know be up five or eight cents every day, I would hold on to position. But when they fly up like that, um, you know, I'm taking, I'm ringing the register. Uh, also bought BCON. We'll take a look at that. And also for Tuesday morning, I have a new idea. Uh, the stock is C B. I'm sorry, CHB. It's a champion enterprise. So in just a moment, I'll show you the chart, and I'll show you how we're going to take this idea and turn it into some money. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of CHB, champion enterprise. I'm zoomed out pretty far because I want to show you why I've picked this as my target. This is the first real resistance area that the stock should encounter on this uh, on this uh, rally. Like I've, I've said uh, in the past that these ascending triangles uh, remain ascending triangles and the function of them is to get you to the next resistance area and uh, this is I see this area up here as a resistance area. So uh, that's why it's my target. Now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to read you the stats. Um, CHB, call on the long side. Tuesday we'll be looking to buy it somewhere around $4.90. That's about where it closed. Could it pull back down into this area one more time? Yeah, it could. Uh, but because it's already done it once here and once here, I don't expect it to uh, do it again, although it could. But it wouldn't change the picture at all. So we'll be looking to buy it around $4.90. My target is $7.80. It's not an exact number. It could be $8.30. It could be... Uh, it could be uh, 750, but somewhere up in this area is my target. Um, my sell stop is four dollars and eleven cents. A close below this level right here would change the look of the whole picture. A close below that. For those of you who want to know where the where I would recommend the sell stop order, um, so let me show you what I see. You probably see it already um, if you've been watching my videos. And we know that these uh, th these formations are, you know, nine times out of ten are very reliable. And this is an ascending triangle. Now it's already been it's already been formed. It started here. This was our first breakout. Then you can see it pulled back into the support area. Then it broke out again. And now it's pulled back again. And I believe it's getting ready to break out again. 
so uh, you had that triangle, then it broke out above that level, and now we're expecting it to break out of that level. So let me recap this for you. This is CHB, Champion Enterprise, um, call on the long side, uh, and all said and done, we can probably make ourselves somewhere around $3 on this trade. All right, let's take a look at um, the, the stock we bought on Friday, which was Bacon, B-C-O-N, and I paid $1.43 for this stock. And I've already got the lines in here. This is what we see. We we've, we've see this ascending triangle. Remember, we bought it over here the last time. We had this ascending triangle going over here. This was the pullback. We bought it right in here, and we caught this whole move. Well, now it's back down, and it's made the turn, and it's put in another ascending triangle um, right off the support area. It all makes sense, and, uh, you know, my target's $2.20. So we put that into our portfolio. Uh, let's take a look at BBX. Um, the pattern was so good looking. I, I even said it. It's just, it was a picture of beauty, this ascending triangle. But, you know, 25.5% uh, return on my money in two days with a move like this, I'm going to take it every time. So maybe if it pulls back down into the support area over the next four or five days, I'll buy it back. If it keeps on going, for you people that still have it, uh, uh, I'll be happy for you. Okay, let's take a look at the major indexes to remind you of the areas of importance. First, our Dow Jones averages. First, let me uh, point out the, some of the encouraging things that happened with this. First encouraging thing that happened was that downtrend that was bothering me got broken on this move. So that's encouraging. Um, the key area, though, the real big area is a, is a close above that area, which signal that the market wants to go higher and probably had, would have a very good chance of getting back up into this area here if we can get above this area here. Um, on the downside, and because we're not through that, we always have to look at the possibility of what could happen on the downside. If this low gets broken, I don't think it's very bullish. I'm not, I'm not sure how bearish it would be, but I know it's not, it would not be bullish. The other thing that's in, uh, starting to catch my eye is um, the rising bottoms. So it's starting to take on a little bit of a look of an ascending triangle again. Although it may be early in the look, it's, it's the picture starting to, to develop. So that's the Dow. Transportation average. These are our key areas. A break below this on a closing basis would be negative, And a break above this area here would be pretty positive. Russell 2000. A break below this area would be negative and a break above that area there would be bullish. Now let me tell you what also encouraging happened here in this chart. After this pullback the first sign of resistance was right there and the fact that it was able to get through on Thursday definitely is encouraging but the key areas are here and here. SPY, Standard Poor's 500 pretty much the look of the Dow key area here, getting through this area, um, and the key area on the bottom is that area there. So until either one of these areas are breached, we can't really get a, a direction that will take us uh, in that direction for, for a while. Also what I find encouraging is I see some rising bottoms going on here also. So that's encouraging for the bulls. Like I said, I haven't waved the flag yet, but um, evidence is starting to weigh that way a little bit. QQQs, pull back, broke this low, didn't close below it. This whole pattern here is a big support area. It starts here. The top of the pattern is the beginning and the bottom part is also support. So a close below this is our negative signal and a close above this it would be bullish. Actually a close above this first resistance area right there would be very encouraging also. So if that happens uh, that would be uh, that would be a good sign. But the key areas are here and here. Okay that's my view of the market till Tuesday morning. This is TK signing off.